Chip sticks or frazzles? Chip sticks or frazzles? Chip sticks or frazzles? Shall I go on? God, it's like a Stasi torture block. The fetal head then passes below the pubic arch. At this point, the woman may feel a burning or stinging sensation. The phrase, no shit, Sherlock, comes to mind. Um, how much more do you want? What's an episteotomy? You don't want to know, mate. Why? Well, you know, between your bum and your genitals, that area. <laughs> it's one of my favourite areas. Yeah, well, imagine someone snipping it with scissors. Oh, my fucking life. Yeah, either that or you can have it pull apart like wet tissue paper. <laughs> Sophie's mum. Hello? So glad I'm not a woman. Worst thing that can happen to me is getting sent to war. Even then, I can find a cave and eat blackberries and tug myself off till it's over. She's in Northumberland. They're on their way, but it could be five or six hours. Shit, I, I can't be the birth partner. Hold on, I see where this is going. I ain't no birth partner. Dude, you are going to be a great birth partner. The truth is, and, and I really wish it wasn't true, but I'm a... a paedophobe, to be honest. Oh. Right. Oh, my life. I mean, I, I suppose I always wondered whether... I've always felt really weird around children, you know? Right. Yeah. Act supportive or punch his lights out? And are you going to get help for...? I don't know. I mean, what sort of help can you get for an irrational fear of children? Pedophobe! Oh, right. What do you think I meant? Oh, my God, Jeremy. It's just pedophobe. I mean, they're both bad. I thought you were saying you were a mega pedo. You thought I was saying I was a mega pedo, and your reaction was that you'd always wonder. I was grappling, I was grasping. I hope me and you being an item doesn't ruin my friendship with Gerard. Me too, that, that, that would be terrible. Ugh, the ghost at the feast. I'm gonna kill you, Gerard. Kill you till you're dead. Al although that, there is something that, that I should probably tell you. What? I don't really want to say. Go on, Mark. Well, y you know those Corfu pictures you you've got on your profile? I, I think maybe you should take those down. Corfu 06? Why? Well, D Gerard admitted that, that sometimes he, he he looks at them and does a... Oh! I know. Never pick a fight with Stalin, Gerard. Uncle Joe don't play by your rules. Emmanuel. Mum. Really? It's fun. Oh, God, this is horrible. And the terrible thing is, this is the high point of the day. This is us allegedly having a great time. Film. One word. Bruno. Milk. Breadback Mountain. Emmanuel. Oh, the indignity of the public hip thrust. Cheers. Off you. Got one for you. Here's one. Thus spake Zarathustra. Excuse me? It's a book by nature. Oh, great. Fucking thanks, Dan. Thus, no. Spake, no. Zarathustra, nope. Chicken run. Correct. But you... Fuck you, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said chicken run. Sex over. Now the smiling and staring. I think Dobby might be bored with me sexually. I'm vanilla. I should be not Neapolitan, that's two seventies, but pistachio. Slightly unpleasant, but novel. I was thinking of booking that country house hotel for, for your birthday. Really? Because country house hotels? I mean, doesn't working in a Mexican restaurant mean we'd be better suited to a Premier Inn and a bottle of supermarket body? Or I could pay? No way. I I'm being the man here and, and paying for everything. I I'm taking you away. I, I might even carry you over the threshold. OK, Captain Caveman. Would you be able to drive us if it's in Hereford? Sure. <phone rings> Shall I get it, seeing as I've got your fluffy dressing gown on? Thanks. Officially, it's a toweling robe. Might not be incredibly stylish, but it is hugely absorbent. Oh, did I tell you? Poor old Simon's mum's ill. Oh, how horrible for him. I might get a card. The cool, good-looking ex-boyfriend, whom I strongly suspect was far better in bed than me. His grief is mine. You got some money, Mark? Hang on! Must be the Bernardo's man. He's unemployed, Mark. Right. Is he, though? I'm pretty sure I saw this exposed on Rogue Traders. Just trying to make a bit of honest money, really. Your neighbours have been very kind. So, uh, what, what have you got? Um, fluffy dusters, J-cloths... Shit. OK, don't choose the cheapest in front of Dobby. So not J-cloths, not scourers. Fluffy dusters, I think they're relatively cheap. Or oven gloves. Fluffy duster. Sure, mate, uh, they're £11. They're what? £11. Quid. 
made of fibres. I'm being politely mugged. Thanks. I'll go and make some coffee, Mr Generous. I'd have just gone for the J-cloths. Great. Just wasted £11 on £4 worth of female approval. Right, I'm having that back. You've conned me. I'm not some frail old lady in sheltered housing. Get to fuck. Are you OK? It's fine. Things got a bit out of hand, but I took control. Tension headache. Brain tumour, maybe? Sexy, fascinating, roguish brain tumour. Not with my luck. I think I will ask Gail if I can take some time off. Mark, what are you doing? You're needed. Order for that table of teenage pistards. Right. Gail, w w when you've got a second, later, maybe, I was wondering whether my taking some holiday might... Mark, we're two chefs down. Abigail's got norovirus. Marek just took the tip of his little finger off right on the eve of his sister's wedding. Coincidence. Um... So this is not the time for you to ask to Skype off. Jesus. Good to get that out in the open. At least I know where I stand now. I'm precisely where I was a second ago, but quite a bit more upset. Shit, it's the rogue trader. I wonder if his dish, perchance, cost £11. Enjoy your meals. Just keep walking, Mark. Oi. And now walk back, Mark. I never ordered this. I, th I think you did. Uh, burritos deluxe? No, burritos mexicano with jalapeno sauce. Do I know you? No. Um, oh, uh, right, yes, I'm afraid my colleague who took your order must have made a mistake, so... Don't blame her. For fuck's sake, man up. You're the one who brought the wrong food. True, but, but I was only... Following orders. Like Vince Cable. Don't blame a woman, you piece of fucking dirt. Now fuck off back to that kitchen and get me what you should have done the first time. Mug. Fine. Right. Fine. OK, great. You want the jalapeno sauce, mate? Well, you can have the jalapeno sauce, but with my hot yellow pit in it. Yeah, see how you like this. I can't go. I can't piss. Come on, bladder. Please let me piss in the sauce. Mark? Am I sacked? Sh sh should I go? I bet I'm sacked. Oh, oh, OK. If you had to, if you had to, would you have sex with me? It's a stupid question. If you had to. If the men came and they made us with their guns. Oh, I don't know. I suppose maybe I could do it just so long as you didn't... What? Enjoy it. I think maybe I could make it through as long as I knew you weren't enjoying it. Hang on. You're saying you could rape me, but you couldn't make love to me. That is so you. That is you all over. That is not me all over. OK, here's a history one. What would you have done in France in the war? Would you have joined the resistance or not? I'm not getting into that. Oh, you want to, though, don't you? I've tickled your historical G-spot. Jerry, you could at least try to take this seriously. You, you are the godfather. What do you think about this, Jeremy? Do, do you think this is too high? No, that's fine. Totally fine. Why don't you just jump out of the window? I think I could probably do it. I'd, I just need to lower myself the initial portion and, and then drop. Mark, we're not in Roadrunner. Jeremy, I'm a father. I, I need to be at my son's christening. I'm not a park bench white lightning guy. Besides, after weeks of negotiation, I finally got Sophie to agree to James Ian rather than Ian James after her dad. Baby Ian. Hmm. Ian Chapman. You'd have a baby that sounded like a solicitor. Exactly. So I need to make sure she doesn't swerve off road at the last moment. Do you really think it's impossible? <laughs> Well, I mean, I could make it, but... You think I couldn't do it, but you could? Yeah, if I needed to. I'd just jump over the trellis, bounce off the wall, hit the ground, parachute roll, basic moves. Well, go on, then. Nah. Why not? Not in the mood. Could I jump? Might make it easily. More likely splatter like a blood-filled pumpkin. Oh, that's better. You're actually doing it? Yes, I'm actually doing it. God, Jeremy, what if someone outside thinks it's some sort of comment? I, I hope there's no black or minority ethnic person walking past who, who thinks it's... Mark, it's a perfectly friendly piss. I'm not... Oh, shit! Withdraw all units! If it's the cops, don't open the door. I can't open the door, Jeremy. That's one of the key things about this whole situation. Wow, me and Hans in a band. First jam with the man feelings. Only thing is, why did I say I could play the sax? I can't play the sax. I bet I could manage a couple of toots. It's basically just a big metal kazoo. How come Denton got the bongos? It's not fair. Anyone can bang shit. Give a chimpanzee a double espresso and you got yourself a drummer. Got to enter the jam. Well, that was a disaster. But can't back down now. 
Jez, mate, can you stop jamming? You, you can't stop someone from jamming. That's against jam law. Dude, that's not jam. That's just total fucking marmalade. OK, I'm going to stop jamming now, but only because my jam is complete and I wish to have a cup of tea. Yeah, take that. Little do they know, I'm actually probably going to have a coffee. There ain't no party like a superhands party. Only if Dobby's here. Let the Punani hunt commence. The hunt for Punani? Thought you were moving in with Zara. Exactly. I've made a firm commitment. We're practically getting married, so this is basically my stag do. Free pass. If Dobby's here, I need to make it up with a gesture. Something extraordinary. I could offer to marry her. Oh, always the marrying with you, isn't it? Superhands! Cheers, man. Wow, it is rocking out. You okay, dude? Yeah. Yeah, it's just in there. Fuck, man. Tasty. Why would people want to do that shit? Why even go there? You told me it was going to be a chilled one, Jeremy. You assured me that he'd made a huge lemon meringue pie. I don't know what to think. I have seen through the eye of the needle. I've seen it. I've finally bloody seen it. I've pulled open the hurt locker and had a big old rummage round. Let's go in. Didn't you hear what he just said? It sounds fun. No, it doesn't. It sounds terrifying. Whatever. Let's get in there. It's the heart of darkness, Jez. It's the fucking dirt. I don't want to go into the heart of darkness. Oh, come on, dude. Sometimes you've got to flip the switch. Lift the rock and look what's underneath, because it's not always wood lice. Look, if that party is too much for Hans, the... Excuse me, Hans, the crack-addled maniac, I'm pretty confident it'll be too much for me. <sighs> Hans is... Is Dobby in there, do you know? She swung by, but she couldn't hack the hate. I think she pissed off the big Susers. Bloody hell. I'm gonna write this place off. Send someone in there tomorrow with some disinfectant and a flamethrower. I got my sleeping bag. I don't wanna know. How was it? Fine, let's go. What? Look, I don't wanna talk about it, all right? I just want a, a cup of tea and some soda bread and sit down somewhere quiet. What, what's going on in there? Are they doing it? Yes, Mark, that's right, they're doing it. You really have no imagination whatsoever, do you? Well, what are they doing then? Dude, don't worry about them, because they sure as hell aren't worrying about you. Let's just go, Hans. <sighs> yep, fuck yeah. Let's go. Big Susie's? I don't mind where, as long as it's safe. I just want to be in a controlled environment. Have a Coke and a tuna sandwich, just mong out to some snow patrol. Great. Super Hans in the sidecar. Who's the chick? That's no chick, man. That's the love of my life. Wow. And... Um... What does she... I don't know much about her. She don't speak English. We speak the language of love. And a tiny little bit of German. Right. I'll tell you, man, she is the one. I'll take a bullet for her. I'll take a bullet up the Aris for her. Oh, that's nice. I'll take a fucking truncheon up the Aris for this one. Or an umbrella. I would open an umbrella up inside my Aris for this one. Hans, we, we get the message. There's probably no need to list all the things you put up your bottom for your girlfriend. What? We've got to hide. I'm going to grab my laptop, chow down on some brunchy girls. No, Jez, no, I don't want to hide. We should be safe in here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Look, we should just go out there and face up to our responsibilities, like men. Sure. Go on, then. I mean, not actually, but we should at least consider it. Look, once he's had brunchy girls, he'll piss off and we can make a break for him. Well, how long's that going to take? I don't know. Look, since we're stuck in here, you might as well answer my question about the French resistance. I don't know, Jeremy. It would have been a terribly difficult time, but I would probably have kept my head down. You're kidding. I totally would have joined up. Well, that's very easy to say, Jeremy, but you would have risked death, not just for yourself, but for your family. I'd probably have just gotten a train to Berlin and taken Hitler down. Boof, the whole thing's over. Well, I guess we'll never know for sure. Oh, I know. I definitely know. No question about it. Well, congratulations. You would have been a brave, brave man. I can't believe you wouldn't be in the resistance with me. I'm really disappointed in you. I can only apologise. Don't apologise to me. Apologise to Europe. Well, I don't know why they're called beanie hats. Oh, shit, he's coming. OK, we give ourselves up. Come clean. Or... Bloody hell! Look, I just think Peeny has what it's all about now, dude. Oh. My. God. Well, I don't know why they're called beanie hats. Maybe it's because in the olden days people used to store beans in them? Who fucking cares? 
Yeah, all right, call me in a bit. Over, gold leader. Oh. Washes, I stay put. Toilet action, and I'm coming out. <gasps> Hello. Hi. What the hell? We got locked in the nether zone. The what? The airlock between your flat and, and the front door. And then we got back in, and then Ben came, so we hid. And he doesn't know that you... No. Well, what are you going to do? We don't know. Didn't you get my message? This is really, really weird. You're in my shower? No, Zara, it's not some weird thing. We're not touching ourselves or touching each other. My boyfriend's out there. I know, and I guess this might be a good time to, as we discussed, break up with him. I mean, he might leave all crying and, you know, everyone's ghosty. I can't handle this right now, Jeremy. I think we should put the whole thing on ice. You mean us dancing on ice? No, like they put dead bodies on ice. Is this about last night? Because I can do better. I know I can. I didn't even go down on you, which is a great shame because I love to go down on women, don't I, Mark? Rinse and repeat. Oh, oh, always with the rinse and repeat. It's over, for Jess. That's the headline, OK? Jess, come on. Look, I really, really don't want to get into this conversation. I'm missing my son's christening, so if you'll excuse me. Mark, no. Ben can't find out what's been happening. We can't break up over one little blip. One little blip? Why do I keep getting dumped? I mean, what's wrong with me? Am I a bad person? No, you're not a bad person, Jess. Zara's just having a little wobble. It's all going to be fine. I don't think it is. I'm going. I've got to go. I'm really, really sorry, but it's not my fault. Hey, hon, can I jump in the shower? I'm so sweaty, my sack's stuck to my leg with super glue. Where's the you... turkey, Jeremy? What? The turkey. Where's the turkey? I thought you were getting the turkey. You what? No turkey? You fucking idiot, Jeremy! You total fucking idiot! That was your job, you fucking moron! You cretin! You're a fuckhead! That's what you are! A fucking shithead! It was a joke, Mark. I was joking. It was a Christmas joke. Uh, oh, I see. Oh. Of course I've got a turkey. It's an organic turkey. I took ages researching it online. It's going to be delicious. That, that looks like a lovely turkey. I'm sorry, I, I flew off the handle a bit. That wasn't very Christmassy. No, it wasn't. And you're sure these are zoot suits? Yeah, these are zoot suits. Yeah, I mean, I love them, obviously. It's just, um, I thought there'd be more... We spent all yesterday going around 15 vintage clothing outfitters spending 530 quid on zoot suits. These are definitely fucking zoot suits. Yeah, great. I, I love them. So I got the uh, contract. You still want to do the punk thing? I only sign in blood. Hey, Jez. Zara, you came in time to see me play. You're playing? I'm sure I told you I was in a band. Yeah, but you told me you're a poet and then you couldn't find your exercise book, so... Wow, Jez, I love musicians. Well, I'm a musician, so I guess you must love me. <laughs> Is that a joke or just a genuine wish with me laughing at the end? Hey, Jez. Great, Mr Ben. The homunculi welcome you. Need to talk business, babe. Get yourself a drink. Mine's a large one, as you fucking know. <laughs> So, uh, I just wanted to flag up with you uh, about the band. Uh, I'm going to be taking a much more hands-on role than your traditional exec. In fact... Forget the band. I'm not signing these twats. What? I listened to the link. They're shit. And the branding. Do you even know what a homunculus is? Isn't it a chick 
Born with a dick? It's one of those tiny humans mad scientists keep in jars. Who wants that on a baseball cap? Uh, goths? Lose the arseholes. Oh, fucking great. Oh. I've got to fire myself. I wonder how I'll take it. Very badly, I should imagine. Ah! OK, guys, so, um, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm, uh, losing quite a bit here, so if we could just sign and break out the elastoplast. Yeah, look, I've been thinking with my thinking cap, and basically, yeah, we're a great band, and obviously I could sign us. Of course I could. Um, I could sign us a thousand times over. But are we hungry enough? I mean, sure, we're hungry, but are we ravenous? Because... Fire them, yeah? Firing them now, Ben. You what? Bollocks. You don't fire us. We fire you. You're fired? No, you're fired. I mean, all of us. We're fired, but we're all in this together against the fucking suits, who are me. So, fuck me. Why don't we show me what I'm missing and do the best gig of our lives? Yeah? OK, wow, this is it, the ultimate. I'm in a relationship with someone I really like. Something's obviously going to have to go wrong. I wonder what it's going to be. It's almost definitely going to be something I do. I need to watch myself like a hawk. Hello, Broccoli. Um, I have an announcement to make. Danny Dyer's chocolate homunculus is dead. But man feelings are back. You are witnesses at the rebirth of man feelings. OK, birthing pool. Don't believe in it, but I have to sell it. I'm Claire Short, backing Iraq. Trini and Susanna endorsing Nescafe. Uh, hi, hello. I, I wonder what happened to the nurse from, from before? Which nurse? The one who was... Nice. Here. Yana's finished her shift. Ah, oh, OK, well, we, we uh, discussed the possibility earlier of using a, a pool. Um, well, I don't have a note of that. Great. Yana's a flake, the lovely nurse who doesn't write anything down. She probably only works here to get her hands on lewds. And both birthing pools are all either occupied or... Look, I, I need a pool. Uh, OK, we want a natural birth. God knows some people aren't convinced of the benefits of a water birth, but I, for one, am not one of them. So, uh, please, c could you sort that out? I'll see what I can do. Very well. Good day. Good day? God, I'm so stern. Maybe I'll end up marrying her instead, and we'll have brisk clinical sex. How's it going, dude? I estimate we're looking at a five-centimetre cervix, plus the boiler's exploded. Hey, that's Zara's. Who was that good plumber? Sophie's nice guy. Look, you're stressing it. How about I sort it? Really? Really. Thanks, man. He's so lucky I'm the kind of guy who would never spike a coffee with a hypnol. Too many practical risks before you even get into the moral considerations. OK, pretty tough, but I managed it. I said, listen, you do things our way. My birth partner has requested this, and I don't care if I have to take it to the very top of the GMC. Got it? Mark, I can't do this. OK, um... Is that better? Or, or is that better? I don't care! Or, or, or is that better? Oh, I want it to stop. It's all too much. So, if it's... It, it, it's OK. We'll, we'll get you in the pool. I, I'm going to sort it. I don't want a pool. I need pain relief, Mark. Oh, you, you don't want the pool? No, I want an epidural or just someone to smack me on the head or just... Fuck! It's just I, I did ask very firmly for the pool. If, if I go back now, I'll look... You'll look what? It's, it's just it, it'll weaken my negotiating position. Mm. No, so, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Um, just... Tiny query. Can you remember, not not at your last place, but the place before, the, the name of that nice plumber? Was, was it Tom or, or Tim? <laughs> no biggie, but uh, if it jumps into your head, can you just pop the number down there, would you? <laughs> Wuthering Heights is so obviously an exploration of, you know, wild elemental forces. The tribe Jeremy's the right, he's a night. shit. Can we go in for five there. minutes, Tom? An ode to dark passions and a kind of savage, savage rhapsody. rhapsody. Sorry, Ben, very easily done, but I think you might accidentally be giving opinions from quite a well-known online essay on Wuthering Heights as your own. Fuck I'm you, sure Mark's that. going into bat for me. I haven't understood the book at all. Wuthering Heights isn't a hymn to lust and passion. And he's really good at this, unlike any game actually involving a bat. Gothic nonsense is, and how it inevitably has to give way to real life and real love. Wow. Blimey, Mark, you sound like an intellectual. Like... Tony Parsons or something. This is what I was born to do. It's like Robert Robinson fucked Joan Bakewell and they had me. Right, screw this. I'm off. Bunch of fucking suits. Well, 
Shall we cool off? Put our big hot brains on ice for five. Back to yours. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Thanks, mate. It's all right, Jess. I I'm just off to Dobby's, and I don't think I'll be needing to be friends with Kenneth anymore. OK. Do you think Kenneth might have been made redundant? Indeed. I, I think Kenneth can take a hike. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth is what Mark calls his nine-inch dildo. So, <clears throat> what sort of line of business are you in, Super Hands? Oh, well, at the moment, Dan, I take out fireplaces and so on from empty houses. Architectural salvage. Yeah. And you sell to trade or wholesale? I sell them in pubs and that. He's training to be an architect. No, I'm not. And what do you do, Dobby? IT grunt. Right. And do you have a boyfriend at all? Kind of. I mean, I like him, but sometimes he can be a bit of a jerk and so on. Oh. Like, he seems cool, but really, he can be kind of cowardly and mean and do things that humiliate me, and then I just think, you know, why don't you just... Don't say fuck off. Fuck off. You know? Just fuck off. Oh, this is horrible. She's found a way of telling me her true feelings. Sneaky. Happy Christmas, darling. Here we go. It's just a silly one. No. Oh, socks. Nice. Thanks, Mum. And, and oh, they've got a funny... Oh, OK. They're a bit saucy. My mother is giving me socks depicting a sexual position I have never even attempted. How little she knows me. Oi, Mrs C. Answer me this. Have you ever had a parrot? Uh, no. Just you look like you might enjoy a cock or two. That's very cheeky, Hans. This is the spirit of Christmas. Super Hans bonking mum doggy style in the airing cupboard. Yeah, so I've been hanging out here quite a bit since I got made redundant. It's cool. Yeah, it is cool. More like a honey trap for social retards. When the Normalo Nazis firebomb these places, the geek race will be wiped out forever. So, what was the amazing Dobby news that you had to tell me in person? Well, the news is, Mark. Don't do the X Factor on me, Gerard. Dobby's got a boyfriend. Oh, God. Really? His name's Simon, and he's younger, slimmer, better looking, and more fashionable than us. Us? I'm several social ranks your senior. That's the whole basis of our relationship, Gerard. So what's he like? Graphic designer. Oh, please. Hello, can I redesign your logo? Yes, that'll be £100,000 for a squiggle. Wish I was a graphic designer. And he drives an Audi. But of course. Forsprung dick technic. Wish <laughs> I had an Audi. Maybe it's a good thing. A wake-up call. Maybe for guys like us, Dobby was always a pipe dream. Don't pull me into your filthy bathwater. I'm a player. You know, it may surprise you to know, but the truth is, until I was 26, I'd never been with a woman. Uh, yes, you, you do surprise me. You've been with a woman? Yeah, I guess over the years I've had a bit of a tough time with the ladies. Really? I've done some mad shit, though. I, I remember there was this one time at uni and I was trying it on with this chick and getting nowhere so i pulled the old palm reading routine physical contact ended up going back to her place sweet god really oh yeah then i talked to her all night about my mother's suspected infidelities until i started to cry i've got a million stories like that <laughs> oh wow they've got stalin what they haven't had uncle joe in for a while it's nice detail yeah the, the detail's not bad danger mark it's all right mark they're not toys they're just models of historical interest Wow, look, FDR. Right. God. Well, they're, they're not really my thing, so... If you bought FDR, we could get together and model Yalta. Yeah? I mean, I, I suppose, if, if you were really keen. I do want the FDR doll, but is it crossing a line? Oh, my God, my heart's racing. It's like when I bought my first 20-sided die. Mm. I'd like to buy an FDR doll, please. Of course. It's for my son. He, he's a big fan of the New Deal, so... Just grab us a couple of uh, Cybermen while you're up on your little stall there, will you, pal? They're not for playing with, obviously. No, I'm just gonna, gonna keep them in mint condition in their boxes. Yeah, of course you are, mate. What do you say, Jeremy? Shall we do it? It'd be so naughty. They'll be next door having stupid turkey and we'll be in there quietly humping. But, Sarah, it's Christmas. So? What, are you religious now or something? Do you believe in Jesus? No, of course I don't believe in Jesus, but I do believe in Christmas. I'm a Christmasist. Wow, I did it. I resisted something for something else. That was something. Hey, Mark, guess what? I was just offered sex and I turned it down. Oh, well, congratulations. I did it for Father Christmas. God, look at him. He probably thinks Father Christmas died for our sins. 
We heard the door. What happened? Dobby's gone. Good riddance to bad rubbish. You can do a lot better than that, Marco. Well, no, actually, because she's great, and thanks to you, I'm a dick. So I was punching well above my weight. Pass me some of that ham, will you? I think it's the only meat on the table unlikely to kill me. Allow me. You want ham? Well, you're gonna get ham. See how you like this ham. What the hell do you think you're doing? I thought you liked your ham shredded. Mark, think what it's doing to the mechanism. It's fine, Dad. <clears throat> Somebody stop him. He's gone totally mad. All right, Christmas movie. Right. Very well. I'm making myself some cauliflower. Uh-oh. Is Daddy coming to get me? No! I've won! It's Festive Festen! Hakuna Matata! I'm the new Lion King! Right. Hans, pour my mother a massive drink. Jeremy, turn on Ratatouille. Sarah, crack open the Pictionary. Merry Christmas, everyone! Johnson. Alan Johnson. <sighs> Wish I'd come as Bond instead of a stupid fisherman from not even a film. Wetsuit. The full Bond. I'm scuba diving again. Thank you, direct marketing. What have you come as? Techno, hippie, street bum? I'm not actually wearing a costume, Alan, so the joke's on you. Yes, I knew that, so the joke's on you. Well, I didn't realize you knew that, so it can't have been a very good joke. Happy New Year. So, listen, really weird one. Apparently, a guy from Time Out magazine turned up at Ben's party, and Ben says he wants to talk to me about publishing a booklet on my blog posts. You're alphabetical lists of French films. He thinks they're seminal. Mm-hmm. Don't you think there's a chance that Ben might be trying to reel you in? I'm not saying you're a fish. Don't you think they're good lists? Oh, no, they're great lists. They're long lists. Maybe they do want to publish them. Exactly. It's too big to miss. See you later, housemate. Ugh, day one and the housemate gets dicked over. So, pretty good numbers. Nailed a lot of the key players. Liam Kendrick in the house! Hey! So, you, you still pissed off with Big Sue's? What? Fuck you. Why would I even be? What a stupid thing to say, Mark. Sorry. If poor little bitch girl wants to have a spoiler party all over my housewarming, why would I even give a shit? Huh? Why? I, I don't know. Me neither. So, let's uh, grab you a cool can of crony and a bag of nuts. Or an ice-cold, long-necked bud. Hubba bubba. Uh, Alan, are, are you still... Oh, yeah. Apple ties. Five years, clean and serene. Hey, just because you're looking at some titties doesn't mean you have to suck on the nip-nips, right? Thanks, Alan. I'll, I'll get stuck into that later. Oh, come on, Mark. A Bex, a simple Bex. Up on the South Downs, have a sack full of Bex. That's the dream, ain't it? I want to keep a clear head for when I talk to Dobby. Do you think she might be here soon? Or... I don't know, Mark. We've been over this. She might pop in. Mmm, cold white wine. Ain't that fine. Hmm. He's conned me to his party. Because it's hard to take a legal position on might pop in. Anyone might pop in. Jeffrey Archer, Hugo Chavez, Skinner and Badil. Aye, aye, Captain Bird's eye! <laughs> <laughs> so what have you caught then? Some mackerel, sexual hairpiece from bumming a tramp? <laughs> Your insults are absorbed by the theoretical levity of the costume. So, come on then, is it true, Mark, that you've had your dick in the dob? Oh, uh, you might say that, but but I couldn't possibly comment. What? Have you, Mark, had your dick in the dob? Uh, OK, yes, 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 I've I've had my dick in the dob. Uh, uh, so what's, what's an average night in? You, you sit around reading Superman comics, sucking each other's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Just grin and take it. I guess. She's a freak, isn't she? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. What kind of freak? Is she a, a manimal or a best-selling flanimal, would you say? Does he want an answer? I, I guess she's more of a manimal than, than a flanimal. Do you hear that, Dobbs? I'm a manimal. I don't even know what a manimal is. He's a shape-shifting crime fighter, Mark. You've had your dick in the dog. Fucking hell! <laughs> Dobby! Ah! Uh, hi. Oh, you're not... That could so easily have been me. A useless gnome fishing for turds. Sorry, this should be my birth. Where's... Sophie Chapman is in Theatre 3. Theatre? <laughs> theatre. Nothing good has ever happened in a theatre. Oh, fuck. Sophie, are you OK? Yeah, I am. I'm so sorry. I, I went. I just... I don't know what to say. Did you go? I've been pretty out of it. How long were you gone for? 
Oh, how long? Oh, ages, like th three or four minutes. This is amazing. I could have finished the level, had an angry whopper and upgraded my phone tariff. Everything slowed down and we wanted to get the baby out, so we decided to come for a caesarean section. That's brilliant. I love the salad, now try the birth. The... the Caesar caesarean salad. Sorry, I, I'm gabbling. I, I'm just happy it's all OK. How's it looking down there? Oh, uh, you might not necessarily want to. Holy fuck. Living innards. I thought now it'd all be high-tech, chip and pin, not London dungeon. Is it OK? Yeah. Yeah? All good, all great. The screen's there for a reason. There's a reason they put Guantanamo on Cuba. Hey, now you might feel a bit of a tug. Baby's coming out. OK. Oh, well, it's like someone's doing the washing up. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, I imagine so. Because a human being is being heaved out of your body. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Do you want to cut the cord? Uh, no. Do you want to do some credit rating or work in a Mexican restaurant? Let's stick to our jobs. Do people normally... Go on, Mark. Uh, OK. Great. Bet I do it wrong and they laugh, humiliated in front of my son within ten seconds of his birth. Wow. It's, it's sinewy. God, I, I can't get any purchase. Thought it'd be like Sarah Ferguson cutting a ribbon, but it's much more meaty, like sawing a dog's leg in half. Oh, my God. There he is. I've got a baby. Maybe, maybe I might be a good person from now on. That, that might be a good idea. Yeah, lead a wholesome life and be a decent citizen and make the whole world OK and, yeah, this is a biggie. This is definitely a biggie. Maybe my son can sort climate change. He might figure out cold fusion. Not as one of the main guys, that's unrealistic, but in an administrative capacity. Oh, my God. You're a dad. I know. Wow. Listen, this probably doesn't matter right now, but hands called. Oh? It's all sorted. New boiler's up and running, and there's minimal water damage. He sent a photo. Minimal water damage? Minimal water damage. Here you go. Here's your son. Oh, my God. My son. <laughs> Minimal water damage. Dobby, where in cyberspace are you? No updates for 72 hours. Is this a bit like stalking? Stalking's a very loaded term. I prefer to think of it as extreme liking. Oh, yeah. Jez, it's 12 on a Saturday and, and you're up. You, you've been out. Are you tripping? Ben rang at seven. He wanted me to go into the office. But I thought work never starts. Yeah, well, apparently, work never starts, but work never stops. Never stops? He's got me by the blackberries. Turning it off is a sackable offence. If I go to a funeral, I can switch it to vibrate. Well, that's something. Plus, it turns out, the website, you know, it's really mainly about the merch. Merch? Merchandise. Ben says, I'm all about the merch. Cut me and I bleed merch. I can't believe I had him at my mercy in the hospital and I let him go. If I'd known he was such an arsehole, I'd at least have given his tube a little waggle. Yeah, murdering your enemies is quite a simple solution, which I guess is why in ethics and law it's so frowned upon. He wasn't even there. It was just me and the servers. After a while, I started to pretend that I was a robot, and then I sort of couldn't remember whether I was a robot or not, so I, I had to get out of there. Anyway, I nicked you some manila envelopes, because I know you like to stockpile them and... Ooh. Mark, is that OK? By the shredder. Can babies go by shredders? Yes, of course. Safest place for him. Stable temperature. Plus, if there was an earth tremor, which obviously there isn't going to be, he's got added protection. Oh. I've got him for the day. It's amazing, the bond. Earlier, I was changing him and he pissed all over me. No ill feeling. Nothing. Wow. Because you... you're pretty uptight. I mean, you hate people pissing on you. Exactly. Plus, if you went for him now, I'd stab you. Great, that's nice. I'd stab you in the eyes. Yeah, all right, I get the picture. Hey, watch this. Time me. Uh, imagine the cushion is the baby. <laughs> Do you see, if there was a bus coming, I could strip and fold this beauty in under five seconds. Great. T. Of course he's happier with the kit. I bet he wishes the baby was a mortar round. Oh, no milk. Not black tea. I'm not some kind of monster. Hello, the human cow. Why not? Luxury milk, lady milk, because you deserve it. Jeremy, come, come and look at this. You have to come and look at this now. If it's another alleged error on Nikita Khrushchev's Wikipedia page, then I can't say I'm getting very worked up about it. This was taken less than half an hour ago. So? Dobby's updated. 
She's not in a relationship, but she is at her bloody sister's birthday do with Gerard. Right. He's done the dirty on me, Jez. He's making a mockery of our granita moment. He's blaring me. You're no brown, Mark. Your hands are made of flesh and blood. Gordon Brown didn't actually have a metal fist. It was just... No? I thought there was something wrong with his arm or his... Yeah? Wasn't there? Hold on. I didn't think we had any milk. Uh, no, we do. No, we definitely don't, because I couldn't have any Sultana Bran this morning. But there's no milk in the fridge. Except... Oh! Mark, relax. This is Sophie's milk, isn't it? Think of it as lady milk from the human cow. Jeremy, this... It's, it's one step away from cannibalism. Oh, right. So it's weird to drink milk from someone you know, but to drink milk from another species, some cow that you've never met, that's fine, is it? Yes, yes, it bloody well is. Well, suit yourself. Mmm, luxury milk. Mark? Oh, shit. Of course. Went to get some more booze. We got waylaid, Alan. We thought we saw a badger and... It's OK, Mark, it's fine. I, I admit defeat. Sue's wins, OK? What? Isn't it like kryptonite? What, what, won't it kill you? I'm not going to drink it, Mark. I'll just take a sniff for old time's sake. More fool you, asshole. And you're off it all. Crack as well. But you love crack. It's your favourite. Especially crack, Jez. You know, stop putting all that poison and shit into my body and my precious brain. Since when? Since Tuesday. I had a sort of road to Damascus flash on the A22. Crashed the van into some guy's hedge because I was so fucking wrecked. And then this voice in my head sounded like Brian Moore, who used to do the football on ITV. Said, pack it in, son. Mark's game. Well, that's very sensible, albeit hallucinatory advice. Uh, Mark, I am. Um, so in here is my pipe and my last rock. I want you to have it. I don't want it. It's illegal. I want you to keep it, please. It's symbolic. And if I come to you and ask for it, I want you to tell me no. Okay? Okay. Even if I hit you hard with wood, or grab your arm and bend it up behind your back till it snaps like a fucking Kit Kat. You still tell me no, right? With wood. Thanks, Mark. Legend. So, how's all this going? Easy, man. Easy like a Sontag Morgan. I'm just finding other things to fill my time. Like what? Cycling, running. Yeah. I ran 10K yesterday. I ran here this morning, then back home, and then back here again. I'm cooking, knitting, knitting like a fucking electric nan. Did this scarf. I've got two quilts on the go and a sort of tabard. It's cool. It's easy. Great. You got the olives? I've gone fucking mental for olives. No, we've shit. Jesus, where am I going to get olives? I'm, I'm craving this salt. We've got salt. I'm not going to go necking fucking salt straight from the shaker, Mark. I'm not mad. Right, fucking laters. I'm going to sprint to Londis. He is a bit mad, isn't he? Yeah. Hands. Yes, you need to come and get me. What's up, man? I've accidentally run to Windsor. What? Yeah, I've mistakenly run to Windsor. But that's like in Scotland or something, isn't it? I didn't mean to. It's uh, just the endorphins kicked in and uh, I couldn't stop. OK, well, find some polythene or something to pull over yourself and, and a bit of waste ground. And I'm sure you'll feel fine in the morning. My legs are gone, man. I'm a jelly. I'm paralysed. It feels fucking brilliant. Crack. There you go. Cheers. What the fuck? Yoko says you were giving it all that at Big Susan. What? Jeremy, were you? God, no. It wasn't sex, you know, it was just sexy hand signals. Why were you giving her sexy hand signals? I... It was all a misunderstanding. I was in the kitchen and I might have done a like that for OK, yeah, and then there were lots of little sausages around, so maybe I put the sausage in the OK to ask, would you like to put a sausage in your mouth? You mean, see, if she wanted to put a sausage in her mouth and then take it out and then put it back in again? Yeah! You know how I feel about her. you got to fucking pay for this. But it's not my fault she doesn't speak English. Fuck! This kind of thing probably happens the whole time at the UN. See you later, Jeremy. But what, what about the bongs? What about the love nest? We're still OK for the love nest, yeah? It's not going to happen. It's a no. Oh, fuck, she's gone. My true love. My housing association. Look, Dobby, I know tonight I've been a real dick splash. Dick splash? It's not 1989, but I've... 
had this mad idea, and I don't know, but I, I just wondered whether we might have a real mad one. You, me, and Noel Gallagher. If you... God, I feel stupid even saying this, but... moved in with me. What? You want to put your manimal in my flanimal? Yes, I do. On, on a long-term basis. Here we go. She's going to rip out my heart like in Temple of Doom. Fuck it. All right. She said yes. I'm moving in with Dobby. I'm king of the world. Must get some new towels. Standing in front of a thousand glory holes and no one but Raymond to suck me off. Jez, really not that great in here, man. Y you all right? Where's Zara? Oh, she's gone. Yeah, I'm not going to be moving in with her. Oh, wow. No? No. Did Dobby say yes? Yeah. Yeah, Do Dobby said yes. Right. Look, I'm sure we can sort something out, make you a bit of a nest on, on the floor. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I could sleep under your desk. You could put your feet on me while you write your book. Could be fun, yeah, the three of us? Yeah, right. God, I'll never be shot of him. He doesn't want me. He wants to move on. Although, uh, actually, you know what? It's cool, because um, there's somewhere else I could stay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to move in with uh, Superhands. Yeah, I should have said uh, he asked me to move in with him, and uh, so everything's cool. Yeah, we're going to have a mental blast, you know, and uh, he's got that spare sleeping bag. Yeah, Hans' his second bag. OK, well, if, if you're sure. I think it's time. If you insist. Look, I, I'd, I'd better... Yeah. Is he going to be OK? He's going to be fine. He's moving into Superhands' party pad. They're going to have the time of their lives. OK. Why did he hit him? I think that's just a thing they do to see in the new year. Oh. Oh.